when a life circumstance takes you out and you burn yourself out and you swear that you're never going to burn yourself out again and that hustle is not what you want, it's kind of my personal, but when you have one of those experiences, how do you get back in it without going back to that experience again? Mm. Does that make sense? Well, if I'm you knew how to do that, how would you, how would you tell me to do it? If I did know, how would it be? Um, I really don't. First know. of all, I don't believe in burnout. I personally don't. Um, because I think if you're taking care of yourself along the way, like sometimes I think burnout is an excuse to self-sabotage. Okay. Right? I, I'm just giving you mine. Yeah. So, like, maybe for me, I don't let myself say, well, I just got burned out. Um, I, I just. I use the wrong word. No, 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 no. I'm saying this is no, me. Words I, have power to me. You sure. ask me. Yes. Right? I'm not trying to invalidate your word. Yeah. I'm just shit. You ask me how I would do it. So, um, you know, I think number one, the, the first question is how do you come back yeah. without burning out? Well, you volunteer back. Like, you see what I mean? Like, a lot of people say, oh, I need to be called or, like, it's okay. But I think that you just, you just, you're transparent. Hey, I, I want to get back involved. Because there's no greater feeling than when you're contributing to something bigger than you, right? And then you identify what you might not have done the first time, which made you feel burned out. It's like, what is it that you really want? Like, to me, sometimes burnout is we're chasing the wrong thing and we don't know what we're chasing. So we don't have a real focus, and there's no fulfillment behind it because we think we want the money, oh, then we want the significance, oh, we want the recognition. Like, well, what is it that you really want? And peel back all the noise, get rid of all the noise, and then identify what your priorities are, right? And then, I mean, I'm just telling you my personal assessment. I don't have all the right answers. Right. But I would say this is that um, one of the things when you say, how do you come back? There's two questions there that I heard. Let me ask. I still don't know if I asked ask the right question. No, it's okay. But, but what I heard you say is, number one, how do you come back? Yeah. Like, how do you come back? What I hear when you say that is, how do I just show back up when I feel like I let people down? That's what part I heard it. you say. It's not what you said. This right. is what I felt that you yeah. said. The second part was, and then this negative association that I don't want to experience the pain that I just had. Exactly. Right? And for some reason, I'm associating what I was doing with that pain. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. It's part of it. Okay. So I did figure out what I want, and it wasn't aligned with what I was doing. So what I want is joy and adventure with my family, and I want to enjoy life and not just work this business all the time, not be told that because I'm not working 24-7, I'm not giving it all my energy, not be, I, yeah, you can sleep when you're dead, but how much fun did you have? Does that right. make sense? I, I absolutely. And so I want it more than anything, but I went hard into the, like, finding joy, finding rest, finding myself again, and not doing the things that got me where I got to. Right. But then, like you said, I associate <coughs> working that hard, doing all those things with that pain of I didn't get to enjoy my life, and I felt tired. Like, not just physically tired, mentally, emotionally, emotionally, just exhausted. I can feel it. Yeah. No, because when you talk about it, you're, you're remembering it. Yeah. I can feel it. And I, it hurts. We've all been there. I, me, personally, I think that it's, I think you already have the answer inside your body. It, it, it's making sure that you are enjoying it. Because if you're not enjoying it, it's not worth doing it. Right. And I think a lot of people don't give themselves this permission because they're looking for a way out. So they're making it worse than it is. Mm -hmm. You can have it all. Like, I mean, I went and picked up my kids today at two. Yeah. Five years ago, would have I done that? No. no, but I had a different life circumstance at the time. Right. But today, I, I wouldn't miss it. And It's not I've just important to them. It's change. important to me. Yeah. But it didn't affect me being here. Right. You know, because I also have faith in other people. You know, and, and so I think that um, people have faith in those that have faith in other people. I hate the word, but it is true. But, like, just set your own personal boundaries of, like, you know, achieving and doing it. But you can have it all. You can have the joy, the fulfillment, the adventure with your family, and the massive business. You know, sometimes it's not just about will, 
it is about skill. And I think as your skill increases and as you have other resource, it gives you the opportunity to buy time. And your intensity of focus is more important than just how much you're doing. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? So I ev for everybody, it's different and it looks different. Right. You know, and I think how you define what your business, how your business is successful, don't put a time frame on it. The time frame, listen, it's true. It's, it's the yin and the yang. The most important feature in any game is the clock. The clock creates urgency. It what creates us to tap into our potential to get it. But it's also the thing that can wake us out. So be patient with your business. I see so, too many people, they put this timeline. If they don't hit this timeline, they feel like they're a failure instead of letting it have its natural progress. And as you grow and as you have joy, I promise you this, you're going to be more effective in your fucking business. Like, mm -hmm. very few people can have their backs against the wall and be able to let the joy come in as well. Hi. Hi. My name's Natalie, and I'm the same girl as Hi, you. Hi, Natalie. So... One thing that I learned that has helped me significantly in my own transition from feeling the weight pulling back and then being able to come back myself is I had a great mentor of mine when I asked about balance. How do I balance the whole thing? And he gave me this analogy. Have you ever seen like the circus act where you there's all these sticks and you put a plate on the stick and yeah. you spin the plate and you get that plate going? And, and then you spin the other plate, and you get this plate going, and then you got this plate going, and then you got this plate. But this plate over here is like, wow, wow. And you got to spin it again, and then you get the fifth plate going, and then the second plate is, wow. That, to me, was balance. Like, I had all these things going, but I had to make sure this plate didn't fall, and I had to make this sure. Like, it just felt like this hectic wildness that I physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually felt like I couldn't keep up with either. And in my sort of self-discovery, I read this article, and it's literally changed my whole perception about balance. And it was this woman in this article, she said, balance isn't about just keeping everything equal all the time. She said, you have to determine your priorities, and you have priorities that are glass balls, and you have priorities that are rubber balls. And she said, you have, I mean, think about all of the things that you have responsibility for. I know like in my household, I have a ton of things that I'm personally responsible for. And some of those are rubber balls that if I, if I drop it, if I don't cook dinner on Thursday night when I get home because I'm exhausted, dinner is a rubber ball. That can bounce. We can order right. food. We can, I can ask my husband to make dinner. Like... My family needs to eat, but dinner is a rubber ball. <coughs> my relationship with my husband is a glass ball. Right. That's not allowed to fall. That's a priority for me. And uh, with my daughters, like, that's a priority Where for me. Where do I fall in that? Mm -hmm. You're a glass ball. I love you. <laughs> I just feel like I've been broken a couple times. It's okay. Same. You bounce. You bounce. <laughs> but if you create that, like... We all have all these priorities. I have all these balls in the air, but there are some of them, my house being immaculately clean, I'm like OCD, that matters to me, that can bounce. Or I can hire somebody to take care of that thing that I feel like is my responsibility. Now, I can't hire somebody to invest in my daughter or take her on a date or you know, do a family vacation. Like That's the ball that I hold very carefully that I have to manage and take care of. But all of these other things that land in my responsibility... I can either get somebody else to take care of them, I can ignore the priority in my head and say, that's okay, that's okay. If the laundry doesn't get folded for seven days, Katie's fine with it. Have you seen her stories? She doesn't <laughs> care, it's on the bed. Like, those are the type of things where it's like, man, I can let that go, because I know that the few things, like it's just a few things that are real genuine glass balls in my life, I make sure those things are okay and these things, create less of a priority. So I'm not frantic, keeping every single thing going all the time, every day, all day long. That has significantly helped me in just sort of the idea of having it all or doing it all. And then on just coming back, like just have grace with yourself. But I do think that re-anchoring or realigning your meaning that you can have it all and priorities are never in conflict and just identify what your priorities are first. You know, and I'd much rather have 27 plates spinning and five of them drop than just holding two up perfectly. Right. You know, but you have to have joy in it. But I do think that the joy is the most important part. Is it, If you're not enjoying it, go do something else. Go Because when you enjoy something, then it's not stress. You know, and don't do it out of obligation. 
Because that doesn't get you very far or people pleasing. Do it because it's genuinely your passion and you want to do it. 